Hallo Leute! Welcome back to another episode of Nurse Irwin TV! Okay, so welcome time ulit ngayon sa uh, German lessons and today is a very important lesson kasi pag-aaralan pag natin yung dalawang pinaka-importanteng verbs sa German language yung haben and sein So, los geht. Okay, so fangen wir an. Uh, in German language, uh, meron tayong tinatawag na verb conjugation. Meaning, sinensense natin yung word or yung word ending ng verb para magmatch sa subject natin. So, sa English din naman, uh, meron din mga verb conjugation pero uh, depende sa tenses. For example, yung verb na to have. So, kapag present tense, uh, I have or kapag past tense, uh, I had then pag present participle is uh, having or I am having and then pag past participle is I had ata, I'm not sure. So, ganun din naman sa, uh, sa German language pero uh, sa present form pa lang or sa present tense pa lang kiniconsulate na, na natin siya depende sa ating subject. So, napag-aaral na natin yung ating mga uh, personal pronomen. So, i-conjugate natin yung verb depende sa pronomen na ating gagamitin. So, uh, haben, uh, which is to have in English. Okay, let's start. Okay, so sa first person singular, yung haben nagiging habe. So, uh, word ending is nagiging e. So, Ich habe, ich habe einen Termin. So, I have an appointment. So, again, ich habe. Example, ich habe einen Termin. And then, uh, second person singular, uh, yung habe magiging has. So, du hast einen Termin. Or, you have an appointment. Du hast, du hast einen Termin. And then, kapag uh, third person singular or yung ating mga er, cs, ay uh, yung haben ay nagiging hat. So, example, er hat uh, eine Freundin. So, he has a girlfriend. Er hat eine Freundin. He has a girlfriend. And then, yung family naman, yung c. So, uh, c hat uh, einen Freund. So, c hat einen Freund. So, she has a boyfriend. And then, um, um, yung neutral, yung S, example, uh, S hat. So, example natin ay S hat kind of failure. S hat kind of failure. So, uh, parang it has no mistake or it has no flow. So, S hat kind of failure. And then, sa first person plural, haben pa rin. So, wir haben. Wir haben. Example, uh, wir haben. I am termin. So, uh, we have an appointment. Wir haben. And then, the second person uh, plural, uh, I had. So, ihr habt. Ihr habt. So, ihr habt uh, einen termin. So, ihr habt einen termin. So, palag. So, you have an appointment. And then, some third person plural, or yung C, si, I have and then yung uh, Yung, yung, yung verb conjugations so like uh, si haben ein auto so si haben si haben ein auto or they have a car and then sa uh, formal form uh, singular or plural yung yung z with the, with the big letter s i haben din siya so si haben si haben like uh, uh, ano ba Example, uh, haben Sie, uh, haben Sie einen Termin or do you have an appointment? Kung, me, kung, 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 kung medyo formal setting yung asapan, di ba? So, uh, ganun, yung, ganun yung magiging uh, verb conjugation. Sie haben. So, example, haben Sie einen Termin? Or like, Frau, uh, Frau Schmidt, haben Sie einen Termin? So, do you have an appointment? Okay, so now let's talk about Anwendung or usage. 
Kailan nga ba ginagamit yung verb na haben or to have? First is by besets or with possession. Uh, example, uh, Ich habe eine Wohnung or I have an apartment. Or, uh, Sie hat einen Hund or She has a dog. So, so I have an apartment like I possess an, an apartment. Ich habe eine Wohnung. And then, ginagamit din siya uh, when an object belongs to this subject or zugehurikai. So, when an object, yung pinag-usapan natin ay pag-aari nung masara o binan ang object belongs to the subject. So, uh, example, uh, si hat ane kurse hare or she has a short hair. Si hat ane kurse hare. She has, a, uh, she has short hair. And then, ginagamit din naman siya sa mga certain expressions uh, example uh, ish habe dish lieb or I love you ish habe dish lieb okay so now let's talk about the word uh, the verb sign or to be first I conjugate na natin siya ish bin ish bin example ish bin Irwin or I am Irwin ish bin Irwin then do beast do beast do beast for english or you are friendly do beast do beast friendly and then third person uh singular air c s air c s on conjugation naman a east so example air is verheiratet or he is married air is Air is verheiratet. Then, sie is. Sie is müde or she is tired. Sie is. Sie is. Sie is müde. And then, uh, yung es. Um, es ist mein Buch. Es ist mein Buch or it is my book. Er ist. I'm sorry. Es ist. And then, uh, third person singular, or yung vir. So, uh, vir sin. Vir sin. Example, vir sin in Frankfurt. Vir sin in Frankfurt, or we are in Frankfurt. And then, yung uh, second person plural, or yung ear. So, side. Ear side. Ear side in Frankfurt, or you are in Frankfurt. Uh, when we're talking about uh, two or more persons, kapag natin siya, ear, side. And then, uh, third person plural, yung uh, si. Okay, si, sin. Si, sin. Example, uh, si, sin, unterwegs, or they are on the way. Si, sin. Si, sin, unterwegs. And then, uh, syempre, sa pagkapag-formal, yung, yung Yung Z with capital letter S or big letter S, ang conjugation rin ay sin. So, like example, uh, sin si Frau Schmidt or are you Frau Schmidt or are you Mrs. Smith? So, si sind. Si sind. And now, let's talk about din naman yung usage. Kailan nga ba ginagamit yung, um, yung verb na uh, sign or to be? First, uh, ginagamit siya sa adjectives or mid adjective and so kalina ginagamit yung uh, si is mute or do best for English so ginagamit siya kapag may describe ka or for adjectives and then ginagamit din naman natin siya for, uh, for identification ng ating uh, beruf or jobs or ating nationalities and unsuvayt or etc. So, example, uh, Ich bin Krankenpfleger. Ich bin Krankenpfleger. Or, uh, er ist Deutsch. Er ist Deutsch. Or, he is German. Ich bin Krankenpfleger. Or, I am a nurse. And then, uh, ginagamit din siya para magbigay ng, ng oras or ng day. Uh, example, uh, heute is uh, 15 December. Or, today is December 15. Heute is 15 December. Or another example, uh, es is zen ur. Es is zen ur. Or it is 10 o'clock.
So, that's it for today. Hopefully, may natutunan po kayo ngayon. And kita-kita po ulit tayo next time. And please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe Nurse Urban TV. Ciao!